My name is Dr. Elisa Bayraktaro. I lead the development of the Threatened Species Index, and the index is a tool that tells us how Australia's threatened species are going and which species are most in need of our help. The index was developed by the Threatened Species Recovery Hub in partnerships with many uh, state agencies, conservation groups, citizen scientists and other researchers. The index is first of its kind in the world. It combines data from over 400,000 individual surveys on over 122 species and subspecies in Australia. In addition to be able to report on birds, we now can report on threatened mammals. The new mammal index shows that Australia's threatened mammals have declined by more than one third over the last 20 years. So this is data on 57 threatened and near threatened mammals in Australia. The new index allows us now to evaluate how sites are going with and without active conservation management. The most remarkable result from the index is um, that mammals that live in predator-free areas like cat and uh, fox-free havens or islands actually have increased fivefold since 2000. However, those safe havens only cover less than 1% of Australia's total area. Currently, we're trying to evaluate how many of the sites in the index have been actually impacted by the recent bushfire events. And with this information that we can get from the people who monitor the threatened species on the ground, we can actually track their recoveries in the years to come. We are always on the lookout for new data for the index. So if you or your organization collects data on threatened birds, mammals and plants, Please get in touch with our team. Currently, we are trying to develop an index for threatened plants for Australia. The Threatened Species Index has been developed by the Threatened Species Recovery Hub with the support by the Australian Government's National Environmental Science Programme.